Okay, so this is a mini test of the GoPro Hero 8 Media Mod. Now, like my other reviews, I was actually planning to do a much bigger review and, you know, showing you the ins and outs of the Media Mod and covering a few things that weren't actually mentioned in other people's reviews because, you know, I just didn't want to do one of those unboxing type things because, let's face it, lots of people have done it already. So one of the things I wanted to actually concentrate on was the different audio quality tests of the GoPro Hero 8. What's happened here is I have the demister turned on full, it's aimed at the window, and hey guess what, the GoPro Hero 8 with the media mod is mounted in the window. Now there's a couple of reasons I wanted to perform this audio test. Number one, I wanted to see what the algorithms were like when it comes to cutting out wind noise, background noise, and concentrating solely on the voice. With the front window demister going, you know, that adds a lot of noise to it. But the other thing is, I've noticed with the uh, media mod, is that there's a slight buzzing sound in the background. It almost sounds like a bad ground, if you've ever dealt with one of those. Okay, so much quieter now. And I'm guessing the voice is going to be a little bit clearer to hear, but still, I'm you know, concerned about that tinny sound. The real test here is if you compare the audio test I did with the GoPro Hero 8, the Fusion, and the GoPro Hero 4 in a skeleton case. So I think with the GoPro Hero 8, there are some excellent things to it. I mean, like I said, the stability is amazing. I'm really happy with the picture quality. It's on par with the 6 and 7, which just, you know, improved stability. The user interface, I think, is fantastic. It, it's so quick to actually set up, you know, for a particular shot. So anyway, basically, at the end of the day, is the GoPro mod worth it? Honestly, I think only for the HDMI out and for the ability to connect a different microphone. I mean, if you want to be able to attach lights directly to your camera, there are third-party cases out there. If you want to attach the display to your camera, I'm pretty sure that you'd probably be able to pick up a third-party display out there or some type of monitor. And like I said, the inbuilt microphones on the display mod, they don't really do it for me because the sound just isn't that good. You're probably going to end up using a different external microphone yourself anyway. So is it worth, what was it, 79 bucks? I mean, you're paying 79 bucks for HDMI out, in which case, if it's really essential to you, if you're that type of amateur, sure, go pay it. But the rest of us are just going to remove the SD card. You know, just stick it on a laptop. It's a much quicker transfer rate. It's much easier to control and review your footage that way. So I honestly don't think it's at a price point where it's worth it.